What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the podcast. Hope y'all are doing all right today. Got a special guest for y'all by the name of King Paul. What's going on, brother? What it do, man? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. All right, before we start, I'm going to play a clip. Eh? What? what is this? You only got the shape up. Daddy's a fake. They only cut the size. Fair inside the barber shop. I get my money back. <laughs> Things African parents say when they're mad. Fam, hold your lips. Get out of my sight. If I count to three and you're still here. Get out of my sight. Oh my gosh, you're so annoying. You're talking back to me? Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shut up your mouth. Oh my God. What happened? What's wrong? I dropped my spoon. Really, nigga? Why are you just looking at me? Pick it up. Here. Stupid boy. That was just on the... Okay. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Hey, why are you naked? I'm not naked. Shut up and cover your chest. Go and put on a shirt. But it's hot and Dad, I... Hold your lips. Okay. Idiot. I hate this house. Hey, Baba. Yeah, what's up? Hey? Jesus. What? What? Why are you want your hat backwards? Eh? Are you trying to become a top? Wow, it's not even that serious. It is very serious. Eh? Are you trying to be 25 cents? Do you mean 50 cents? Do you mean 50 cents? Eh, I beg, what is the difference? And eh? they're both changed. Look, you will not disgrace me in this America. Do you hear me? Yes. Good boy, look. Forward ever, backwards never. Chai! Now you look like a handsome bubba. Fine boy, no pimple at all. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all give it up for King Paul. Hey, bro, before we start, man, give us a little background about yourself, where you from, um, just, just, just a little bit, a little information about yourself. Cool little bio, cool little bio. Um, I was born in Nigeria, you know what I'm saying, Lagos, Nigeria. I came to the States in 2001, I was like two, three, and uh, moved to Maryland, and I've just been in Maryland ever since. I just moved to Atlanta literally like four days ago, so... I'm in Atlanta, wow. you know, trying to chase my dreams. You know what I'm saying? I've been making videos for a minute since like October 2013. Started off with Vine, transitioned to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram when they all started coming out with videos. And I've just been doing that ever since. But I feel like it's time for me to like level up once more and really just start to be on the big screen, be on TV, be in films. So that's why I moved out here for more acting opportunities. And I'm trying to go crazy, man. I mean, me personally, you know, I just want to say like, I. I've been heard about you by seven, eight years ago when you was really doing your thing on Twitter, man. And you know, and like you know, me being an African man, we could definitely relate to the, the some of the skit that you have done. You know, we we definitely know an uncle haunted that acts like that. You know, yeah. so definitely, I'm I'm a big fan. You know, thank you for being here for sure. Now, you know, and then um, so before we keep going, I'm gonna I'm gonna post this picture. I just want you to like let me know what what was going on when you when you did this clip, uh, this skit right here, bro. Bro, the crazy thing is there's an older picture when I had like the wire joints and um, basically some dude had just paid me to promote his joint and I just took a picture of the, uh, I was I was working at like a mall stand at the time so I couldn't really like make a skit or whatever but he wanted to post it that day and I'm like, I'm at work. He was like, bro, just do a funny face or something. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I took a picture with like the uh, headphones with the wire and I had smoke coming out on Snapchat. I just put it on Snap. And then I guess right. so it started, and it didn't start going crazy till literally like two years ago. But the picture was taken in like 2016, 2015. Wow. So then that joint went viral. So then I basically, you know, the AirPods are out now. So I did that joint. You know what I'm saying? Like I basically came up with like an updated version of it. And that joint started going viral now. And now this is more known than that like original joint with the wire. So now go back to the, you know, you're doing the skit. I mean, be, like before you even start, like what made you start doing like comedy skits and stuff? Like what what was the startup point for you, man? Uh, when Vine first came out, of course, all of us were on it, but I was just like everybody else, honestly, I was really just a viewer. But I was always in the class clown, so like my best friend at the time, she would just tell me like, yo, you need to make videos, you need to make videos, da, da, da. like you could do this, like you're funny, just record yourself. And I'm like, bro, I'm not wow. going I'm not gonna blow up, y'all. Saying I'm in Maryland, don't nobody know me, bro. <laughs> After she just kept saying it, kept saying it, kept saying, it, I finally just took into it and I did it one day. Of course, it didn't blow up, but I, for some reason, I kind of just like liked it. I didn't. I don't even think I, it got likes enough. I was just like, this is just something to do. Like it's cool. Like I am funny, you know what I'm saying? So I kept doing it, kept doing it. Then one day, one of my joints just blew up on Twitter because you know back in the day when you post a Vine, it would automatically post to Twitter as well. So one of my joints like. They did like, it did like a thousand likes, bro. Back then, bro, that was viral, bro. Oh, wow. 
My joint got a thousand likes in like 2014, 2015. I'm just like, what? Like I'm about my followers going up. I had like 200 followers overnight. I'm like, bet. So after that, kept doing it, kept doing it. And my vines would go from like 10 likes to like maybe like 100 likes now because the previous viral joint kept doing it. Another joint went viral. And when that joint went viral, I got like 20K. And it's just wow. up ever since. No, nah, that's 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 crazy, bro. I mean, that's you know, it's like you try something that you usually would never do, and then it just picked up. So that's that's mm -hmm. dope. Bro. We talked about the you know the, the comedy skit that you used that you did, and you you know you're still doing, and, and I, like I said, and that's picked up. But one thing I, that I notice about you nowadays is like now you you have transitioned to the more of the businessman. You know, you got the clothing brand, you got the fashion, and I just want you to you know like let us know when did this idea came about. looking sweet man um honestly it all started at the same time like i i, I call myself like a jack of all uh, all trades i started the clothing it's it's kind of like the same time with the videos honestly because i started seeing people do like the merch things so i'm like let me hop on this now so once i started getting some buzz on vine i was selling clothes with some friends from school i had a joint called finesse kings then I changed it to like urban luxury. Then I changed that to like sneaky moves. And then I recently changed it to my last name like two years ago. Uh, so I've been doing it for a while, just like kind of rebranding myself every other year. But now it's my last name, so it's like there's no more rebranding. It is what it is. Now this is this is a question. I feel like we all we all inspire each other. You know, like you know what you're doing. You know, people seeing what you're doing. You know, you definitely inspire someone. You know. Now my question is like, you know. One, like I said, you used to, you do this coming to skit. Now you're doing the, now you're more of a businessman, you know, with the clothing brand and stuff. For anyone who either wants to do the coming to skit or either do the clothing brand or just want to do both, what advice do you have for them? Uh, bro, the same advice for both: just be intentional, be consistent, and do it because you actually like it. You know what I'm saying? As far as video, like some people know they're not funny, but they just like try it and it doesn't work, and it's like, bro, nobody's messing with me. It's not natural. Like people could tell, like you're just not funny. You know what I'm saying? Or like, and then with the clothes too, like what what made me become so successful, I think, is the fact that I put myself in the consumer mindset. So like a lot of people start making clothes and they just put what they think is cool opposed to like what others would think is cool or like what they see around them and what they would actually wear. A lot of people wouldn't wear the stuff that they actually sell. And someone told me that for real. Like I used to make shirts that say Toodaloo on it. And it's like, bro, nobody buying my shirt. And then my man was like, if you saw a shirt that says Toodaloo with a peace sign and H, like, would you really buy that? Dang, I wouldn't. So then changed just started making like designs. And uh I think my first joint was my last name, but it was like kind of sideways, but it looked I put like the accent mark on the E, so it kind of looked foreign. And people were like, oh, that's hard. Like, and it was like, just three letters. They're like, that's hard. I'm like, for real? So just kept running with it and just uh honestly like mimicking things that that I things from the clothes that I wear or that I see in the mall, but not copying it. Like a lot of people, they'll jump in and try to remake like the Backwoods logo or like remake like a Supreme logo, but type their own brand. I ain't do, like, no, be original. You know what I'm no, saying? That's you true. You get inspiration from somewhere, but be original. So like, let's say, let's say I see like a Gucci hoodie and they got like Donald Duck on it. I'm like, bro, that's hard. Like I take that and choose my own animal. Like I'll use a line or something, you know what I'm saying? Ah, I see. A way to uh, incorporate my last name in it, or just not even put my last name in it at all, because not everything needs your uh, logo on it, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, so, facts, facts, facts. Now that's it. dope, and I mean, I, I definitely like the whole idea of just being yourself and, and, you know, just, you know, being creative and doing what you think looks cool, you know what I mean? And also yeah. think about what other people would like too, you know what I mean? Yeah, so like, that's definitely dope. Like, it's a business. You're trying to make money. You're not trying like, yeah, you want your stuff to look cool. You want people to acknowledge it, but you want people to buy it as well, bro. So do like make stuff stuff that you would actually in like buy. Like you know what I'm saying? Something nah, you right. would money on, not something that you were just like, let me just try to flip these 20 shirts real quick. Like, nah, bro. And I think that's I think that's the problem, man. People are trying to make quick money versus you know just being right. creative. Yeah, even you with know. the videos, like people be thinking you go viral, you make a million dollars, but for YouTube, before you even make a dime, you have to have four thousand subscribers and like, like a while of like four thousand watch hours or something crazy, and a thousand subscribers. So you're gonna have to get yourself some sort of recognition before you can even make money. People think you just go viral and money just pours in, and I be asking people like, where do you think, where would the money come from? You know, Not what I'm true. Like, 
like Instagram don't gotta pay you. They're already like a billion dollar company. Like why would they pay no, you? Exactly. You know, environment on their platform. Ain't nobody, nah, bro. You gotta really put the work in and just learn the business aspect of things. Not fair. Now, lastly, bro, um, where can we find you, bro? I mean, we know, you know, we know you're on all social media platforms. So, you know, where can we find you? What's the name for each and every one of them? They're all the same now. It's OMG as King Paul. So on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, it's O M G I T S K I N G P A U L. And my clothing brand is OE Collections on Instagram and Twitter as well. O W E C O W L E T E C T I O N S. All right, good, good. Y'all make sure you check out this brother, man. Make sure you check him out on all platform. You know, this like I said, I've been following this man since about eight years ago. You know, like I, I, I feel like I damn near grew up this man just because of I, I be following all the skit they did. You know, and I'm a I'm like I'm a big fan, bro. Like I told you, you know, prior to to doing the the interview, you know, definitely keep going, man. Keep branding yourself. Keep you know, keep being an icon among the rest of us. You know what I mean? So oh, definitely, you know, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for taking the part. Your time to you know talk with us, you know we definitely appreciate your time, and then for everyone everyone else, you know thank y'all for tuning in, and that and that's that concludes it.